In the biodigital human, labels are an effective interactive way to provide more information about anatomy or health conditions while keeping the focus on the 3D visuals. Labels enable you to identify key anatomical structures, make connections between anatomical structures and their functions, as well as explain the relationship between anatomical structures and related health conditions. All labels in the biodigital human can be edited. Whether the label was built into the model or you added the label yourself, you have the ability to change both the text itself and what happens when you click the label button. To add a label, first open the model that you would like to customize in Human Studio using the pencil icon. Next, click on the label tool from the toolbar above your canvas. You will see the cursor turn into a label icon with a plus. Using this tool, you can click on the structure that you wish to label. Once you have clicked on the structure with the label tool, you will see a label appear that is pre-populated with the name of the structure in the title, as well as see the label panel open to the right. You will also see a small plus within the anchor or pin. Clicking the plus will expand the contents of the label, both in the canvas and within the label editing panel. You can also expand or collapse the label content by clicking on the label title. To remove the label, click the menu icon and select remove. You can also click on the label in the canvas and hit delete or backspace on your keyboard. Next, add the label title and description as well as an image if needed. The image field can be useful if you would like to include an image of the real life structure or any other visual aid associated with the label structure. Labels are rich text enabled, so you can utilize bold, italics, hyperlinks, bullets, and more. However, as a best practice, do your best to limit the amount of information contained in each label to prevent cognitive overload and ensure the information is easily digestible. When mousing over each label in the label editing panel, you will notice an icon with two horizontal lines appear to the left of the label title, allowing you to click and drag the label to adjust the sequence. This is useful when using a sequential label type, such as alphabetical or numerical, to convey a sequence of events or steps. This and other changes can be made from the Style tab. The Style tab allows you to change the label theme from light to dark, customize the label pin, change the label type, align right or left, and toggle pin glow on or off. To create a sequential pin type, click the dropdown under Label Pin, then select Sequential. Upon selecting Sequential, you will see an additional dropdown appear allowing you to change the sequence type from alphabetical to numeric. This will need to be applied to each label individually. The leader type allows you to select either a line or floating label. And lastly, selecting Make the Pin Glow applies a glow effect intended to draw attention to the pin. This can be used to encourage the user to click. Lastly, we have the Actions tab. From here, you can determine how your label will behave when the model first loads or when the user clicks on it, such as whether the description and image will appear automatically upon load or whether the label will zoom to the structure when clicked. If Zoom Label is selected under On Click, you also have the ability to select your own positioning if you prefer not to use the default zoom. This can be very useful if you find that the auto zoom position is not zooming in far enough or the zoom behavior is too visually jarring and you prefer more of a minor adjustment. Or perhaps you notice that when viewing your model, there is a label whose description gets cut off when expanded. To select your own zoom position, first, deselect the Disable Label Zoom While Editing option at the top of the panel. When selected, this option prevents you from accidentally zooming in and out when attempting to edit your labels by disabling the zoom function. However, in this case, the intention is to create a fixed position for label zoom and then test the position, so I will deselect this option. Next, select Zoom Label under On Click. Then, click the drop-down to select Zoom to Fixed Position. Once selected, you will see the Mark Position button appear underneath. The next step is to determine exactly where you want the Zoom Position to be by manipulating the model, and then click Mark Position to capture the Zoom. You can test this by returning to the starting position of the model, and then clicking the label. You can change the position as many times as you need to until you are happy with the positioning. As a best practice, we suggest limiting the number of labels that you use on one model, as to avoid crowding and visual overload. 
Labels should be used to identify key structures and provide additional information relevant to your objectives. Thank you for joining me. For more tutorial videos and articles, as well as best practices, please visit our Help Center at support.biodigital.com.